loads and loads of bones. I think there's even skull, skull. fragments. This is definitely like an yeah, an osbury. Right. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is St Mary's Abbey and it dates back to 1312. Now if you just look over to the left um, of St Mary's Abbey, this is St Mokta's house. Now St Mokta's was a disciple of Saint Patrick. Now I was hoping to get across there today, but we have seen several signs saying, do not enter, bulls in the field, livestock. So I'm not going to chance it today. Um, so it was kind of a, a little chapel, but they say Saint Mokta's house. Um, it's probably later than other shrine chapels that we see around um, Ireland. Um, it is actually one of the earliest stone vaulted ceilings in Ireland. So we'll start heading into St. Mary's Abbey. Now, as I said, it date back, dates back to around 1312. Now, it was actually damaged by a major fire um, years and years and years ago. It's actually said to be one of the most important abbeys in Ireland. Uh, Brian Baru, he was supposed to be have, he, he was supposed to have been waked in this abbey prior to his burial in Armagh. They also say that a famous High King of Ireland, Edward Bruce, he seemingly was entertained here in 1315. So let's go in and have a a little nosy around and see what we can find. Now there is a couple of places of interest here. Look at the length of it, it is huge. And I know people were given out online that it needs to be preserved um, before it's completely forgotten and falls into absolute ruin. I think we'll go to the left first and have a look at this over here before we head into the abbey itself. We're kind of racing against the the weather here at the moment. Now, what is this? Is it a private burial? There is something there, James McCann, it looks like. It's a vault, a family vault, James McCann. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to see a date on it. So it is a vault, guys. So I presume they are buried, whoops, underneath. Now, the ground does look extremely uneven. But we'll make our way down here anyway. We'll have a look, see what these uh, railed areas are. See the ivy all on the walls. <laughs> I love that. Creepy gate sounds. So this is erected by Patrick J. Kiernan, or Kieran maybe, in memory of his beloved mother Jane, 1870 something aged 48. It's a huge place, so I'm sure there's more than just Jane there. We'll try and close up the gate again but it's it this is actually quite strange because if you wanted to get in you'd have to there's a huge step up to take a look at it now once again you have to be careful of where we walk so this is similar and unfortunately I don't know whether that was a headstone or maybe a tabletop tomb. What do you think? I think it's just a flat stone. A flat tabletop. stone tabletop maybe? 
doesn't see. I wonder has it fallen forward and that's just the, the back of it because we can't see any writing. More beautiful rails. The gate on this one has been left open for a long, long time. So you would kind of think if this is one of the most important abbeys in Ireland, you know, is it or why isn't it preserved? Um, I know funding is always a huge issue. This is another little railed area, no gate that I can see to get in. We've one headstone in there, but unfortunately we won't be able to read that one either. Whoa, be careful that there's like stones under some of this area here. It's quite dangerous. Erected by pa Peter Halfpenny. What a name of loud in memory of his aunt who departed this life. May 1863, age 65. I've heard of half penny Have before. You? A Welsh rugby player, yeah, half penny. Half there. penny, that was the, the money we used. That's quite cool. Whoa, look at this. What is this? Whoa, gosh, this ground is. It looks like a, a leader. Like a vaulted a door. And there's another one here, look. That fell off, that, didn't it? So. so, yeah, what we see on the bottom, or on the ground, I should say, is what would have been the top of this beautiful monument. But what are those doors? They look those... like the uh, cover of a vault, aren't they? Don't they? There's two of them there. They are so strange. Are they iron? They are iron. What the heck would they have been on? Oh my goodness, this here is very dangerous. Oh my God, there's stuff under the grass that I... Ooh, I can't see, it's like stones. Here is another private burial place it looks like Coleman's on the name there but it's so overgrown god this is a shame the place is so bad isn't it this is a pity really isn't it to see it like this I yeah, mean loud is known for being so historical history you know. they should look after it. the office of public works I would think would be yeah this is what I was reading that they were hoping that uh, they'd get involved. The OPW. Now look at this door, guys. This. So, these are, or this is the, the private burial plot of the Carrolls, James Carroll, uh, in the year of our Lord, 18, 1800s, for him and his posterity. So it was erected to him. This slab was renewed in 1943 by his, by his great grandson, James Marmion, is it? Marmion Gilmore Carroll. Um, now, James seemingly was uh, part of the whole tobacco scene. So this door, look at cool this, door, like, look it? at this. So obviously it wasn't always... It looks like a door into a vault. Silver in colour. Yeah, look at that. You have like little flower designs on the corners. This is so... Strange. Oh, another creepy gate. Oh, right. I don't know whether I can even duck down. <laughs> oh, there's nothing. There's nothing here. <laughs> Are you coming? Oh, I think it's built for an elf. Or... It's built for a leprechaun or an elf. There's nothing in here. So, you know what I'm it? thinking? Is he under here? And we're, is that where those big iron um, covers. covers came out of? Why would there be a door into an empty area? Though? But he is here. He's just under these. Uh, he's under the concrete. He's under the concrete. That is so strange. That feels hollow. Maybe or sounds hollow, doesn't it? It's probably vaulted, yeah. So I think it's a vault. Wow. And they've obviously cemented it over with slabs. I don't know what's in that bag. It's like a compost. Why is it left there? We have some rubbish, unfortunately, as well. I think that's exactly what yeah. it was. Close over that door. <laughs> you know when you see... Um, 
the four walls. Like it's big enough to make a mausoleum yeah. area. So I don't know why the design is like this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's opening up itself. Okay, we're leaving. So as I said, they were in connection with tobacco. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, don't lift your head up for for a while because you're going to get stuck. Look at that. It is cool, doesn't it? That is so cool, like. Isn't it? Beautiful. And you can see there the crest. The Carl crest. Just at the top there. And two lines and a, a sword, I think. Right. Now this kind of looks to me like it could be... Is that another vault? Let me see if I can get... Go around towards it. Oh, look. Look at the way that it was designed. There's a hole there and it's like it goes, they filled it completely. It goes in underneath. With stones. Imagine that. Whoa, my gimbal's going crazy. Imagine that. It's, full of, it's filled in, yeah. But look at the little wall the way it, it was. It says R.I.P. on the top here. Yeah, just over the door, that kind of brown colour stone says R.I.P. Imagine. But no name. But like it starts off, oh, it's a huge Oh, it's massive. Board, so you would have been able to go down underneath. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Look at that. Oh, it's so cold. So we're going to take a little walk into the abbey. And then just over there, we have a very interesting building that we will take a look at. Um, but we'll try to get in this way. So this headstone, we'll read it. Here lieth the body of Patrick M. Sorry, Patrick McMahon. Um, who departed this life January the 26th, 1801, age 63. Uh, what does it say? 63 years. This to be a repo rep repository for the relics of his posterity forever. And my coat just opened. That's a lot of... Uh, don't really read that very often on graves for his posterity. And his relic. This one has caught my eye here. Because you can see the little, little angels. Uh, Patrick something. Erected by Patrick in memory of his father, Brian, something. I don't know what the surname is. Honey date. Hard to see it, yeah. Look at that door. That is just so cool. Right. I'm not sure whether this is the... Gosh, we have actually a new burial even here. Oh, so as I said, this dates back to the 1300s. Look at that door. Or sorry, not the door. Look at that window. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then Popular if I turn... Callan is, does so seem to be. Look at that, lads. This would have been absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, do you know the little house just across the field where all the bulls are and where I will not be going? Um, like the, it, he was a disciple of St. Patrick, um, the patron saint of Ireland, who banished all the snakes from Ireland because we keep getting questions about have you snakes? We don't, thanks to St. Patrick. But he would have um, met him here and over there another fine burial place burial place O'Hagan I think oh oh yeah it is O'Hagan isn't it this 
would have. It, does this have designs or my eyes? It's like the stone. So what's this? Doherty of Dundalk. So that's the stone maker, the mason. This is like a tabletop tomb. You can barely see the legs just in under that. And O'Hagan is the name on it. And then we just have an absolute stone markers, like no. Yeah, mixture of stones, stone markers. Um. Tabletop tombs. Queen Mary's at the top. 44412 worker Kathleen Carl, OM Army Auxiliary Corps, 19th of July 1918, age 27. So very young. Gosh, like we have what would have been possibly a door here. Here's the name, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, ma look at that. Like we've seen abbeys and priories that have been saved. And if they're saying this is the best in Ireland or one of the most important sites in Ireland, it should be preserved. Richard Marmion. June 1893, aged 53, his father Nicholas, 1854, aged 56, and his mother Ellen, 1885, aged 87. Of your charity, pray for the, their souls and the above, John. He was 68 when he passed in 1904. That is there at the side of the, the wall on a plaque. What is that? That's an odd shape, isn't it? <laughs> It's split in two, but see the bottom of it? The shape of it like. If it was a, a tabletop tomb at one stage, it certainly didn't have legs. It was like this kind of was the side of it. So it was quite unusual to see that. Unfortunately, some of these you just can't read. And a lot of them then have no names. They're just markers, as I say. Look at this. Yeah, that one looks like it's a bit better to read. Here lies the body of Matthew Carl, who departed this life April 6th, 1727, in the 53rd year of his age. To me, I have seen a couple of hoof marks, like, are the cattle coming in here? There's another of those uh, tabletop tombs with the same style at the side of it. With like that part. See it? It's like it's, it's the way it's, it's uh, carved. It's unusual, isn't it? It's a design, I haven't seen that before. Look at the lichen on that, it's where it was painted. Here lieth the body of, and unfortunately I do not think we'll be able to read that at all. No. God, the stones in here are really, really in bad condition. Bar these little few up here, up at the top. So there is, like you can see, a new burial there, a recent enough. And do you know something? Maybe it's not a recent burial, but they have... Uh, it's looked after because 1959 and there's a 1974 there for the grimes so it may just be that they have replanted it and put some topsoil on it look at that that's a headstone and another headstone they call that kissing stones when they land like that so you can just imagine another 10 years there's not going to be a whole lot left we can't even read some of the ones that are there but it is gorgeous. Right, will we try to get back out? And see what we can see before this weather ugh, changes again. Right, let's see the easiest way to get around. Um, I'd love to be able to kind of get around and read some more stones, but to be honest with you, twice now I'm after nearly twisting my ankle and 
the ground is just so so uneven we have silver rails on this one whoa look at this oh my goodness me so it said erected by pat and james o'neill of dublin in memory of their mother Anne o'neill who departed the 11th of november 1823 and their father henry o'neill who departed 26 of june 1832 age 77 mary donnelly her husband harry uh, their daughter patricia so this must be Anne and henry o'neill now this is the best photo i think i've ever seen i hope it's, you can see that there like bit of a glare movie. it's like an old movie yeah wow that is stunning what a beautiful photo to have isn't it they're so blessed that they have that uh, photo for remembrance and you know they were able to put it here on their grave this is an unusual old cross there does seem to be some sort of writing on it you can see that it's like it's all glitter isn't it oh no any date 1756 there I think that's what it says just here or it could be tur it's 36 1736 but Ella VG no won't be able to do no unfortunately but that is a beautiful cross very old I think that's limestone isn't it so we might try and make our way over to this now some people say, whoa, it was a mausoleum. And some say it's a mortuary chapel. So obviously there's no records of names. So you would wonder what it is. You see two horse shoes on top there. Look at that. I actually think, do you think it's a mausoleum? It looks like that, doesn't it? Or it's it kind of does not give a receiving me. Vault, does it? I don't know. Well, the door is extremely small. Or have they built up the ground? Oh, wow, oh, there's wow. a headstone in there. Oh my God, it's full of bones. Skulls and everything. Stop! I don't see the skulls now. Look at the headstone there. Okay. Wow, the headstone is beautiful. Do you know something? That's like a family crest. But let's see if we can zoom in. There. Isn't it like a family crest? You can see the hand and the dagger holding the dagger no. there. It's a family um, crest, yeah. But like, all the bones. So this was not a receiving fall, or was it like an... Was it one of, what you call it? Where, do you know, uh, they take the bones and put them in Osiri, is it? Osiri, yeah. So all in there, guys, I'm trying to get you a, a clearer view, which is not too easy. You can see loads and loads of bones. I think there's even skull, skull? fragments. This is definitely like an there, an osiri. Right. Skull fragment. Gosh, what is going on? I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I can't even. Uh, there. They're all bones, guys. Whoa, just there. Some skulls, or parts of skulls. That is quite amazing. But you I can actually, actually see the other side. Let's just go around and have a look. At the window there. I'm a little bit confused. It's definitely not a mausoleum, but then if it's an osiri, and I think I have the right name, why is there um, a beautiful, it's like a crest, a family crest on it. Whoa, gosh. Okay, so this doesn't go anywhere. But there is holes to the other side of it. We'll have to see if we oh we won't be able What's to because the of, the, of the livestock and bulls, as the sign said. We'll have to have a oh a closer look. Let me have a look around this side. There's no inscription. There's nothing. Like it's huge. So that's what I can't understand. If it's a nursery, why is there um, that beautiful? Grave, do you know the the crest? Why is that there? 
It must have looked like it fell in or something. I'm sure how would it fall in though? Because I think, like that's not the bottom of the gate, the muck. Is that gate? Is it open? No, no, it's, it's completely like cemented here. Oh wow, look over this side. Don't know where I'm going to. There's more there inscription on that. You see it? There's two kind of things in there. Oh, I'd love to get out into. There's even bones up on the. Let me see if I can point it out to you. On the ledge. On the ledge. I'm not getting a great shot of anything. I wonder will I take the phone off the gimbal? There. Right, so I'm zooming in. Whoa, hold on. Is that the thing I'm looking for? That's it. So that's like a little ledge, just there. Where my finger comes in now. They are like big leg femur bones, possibly. But just over here, then what we're seeing I don't know whether you'll see it. I can't understand why this phone doesn't want... Oh yeah, just here. On the ground. Show me that. Yeah, just there. That is actually um, a skull. Right, just bear with me one second. There's tons of um, remains in there. Right, there they all are, guys. That's all, like, skull remains. And loads and loads of bones. More there. We've even skulls there. That little um, kind of like a ledge then that we showed you has more bones on it. But there, I don't know. I can't understand then what these are. I'm confused. And there is definitely beside the crest. There is definitely like um, just there to the left. Yeah, that. That is definitely like writing on it. And then more skull, skulls behind that. Like it's just, I don't know, it's there. But there's definitely writing on that one. And you know something, I think that's like a, the base of a lead coffin. There where my light is and the skulls are. Wow. So, what do you think guys? An osery? A mausoleum. I don't know. I think it might be an osry where they throw all the bones, but then I still can't explain that. Plaques. The plaques. Unless they're off old graves. How would they have got them in there though? So, so strange. The length of that abbey. It's fantastic. Yeah, so guys, I don't know. Let me know. Um, I wonder would there have been a plaque or something here or are there just bones, do you know, from graves? I don't know. Why is there horseshoes left there? There's horseshoes there. I don't know, it's a strange setup. Um, the horseshoes would make me think that it's family of some sort that they left. You know, they do leave them on the graves, horseshoes. Yeah, it's so kind of supposed to be to good luck or something, isn't it? Um, it's a beautiful place, absolutely gorgeous, wasn't expecting to um, even being able to take a look into that, we're going to call it a mausoleum, I don't know, you let me know down in the comments, um, but it is a beautiful place and it definitely needs um, somebody to come in now, get the funds, some historical society or, there's plenty of places that are preserved like. It has to be a listed building or something maybe to, to get that done, but they definitely need to do that for sure. Right guys, keep an eye out. <laughs> there could be bulls anywhere. But we thought, do you know something? We've come this far. Uh, we might take... Oh jeez, imagine a bull game now. I would lose my life. Literally, stop it. Calling them you are. I hope you're not wearing red. <laughs> Am I? No. <laughs> oh. See the abbey's looking Yeah, I'm going to get a, a turnaround shot. Farmer's on this field, it looks like. It is, but see the wall? The wall was actually put up 
by a loud council um, to kind of protect it possibly from livestock. Uh, so this is it. So St. Patrick's, St. Patrick would have met here. Um, I believe there's like a little attic in it. Lovely stone roof. Now, oh, if, yeah, the OPW. So, if the OPW look after this, why aren't they looking after the Abbey? It says it here, the OPW on that sign. So, not a whole lot to see, guys, but uh, I just thought it interesting. It's all locked up. It's just like a, empty room. an empty room, but I do know up at the top there would have been like an attic space, I suppose. It says something here. What's this? 1906 LCC. That's Loud County Council. So that's what I'm saying. The wall, this wall was put up by the County Council. And so it's, you know, not part of the little um, house, as they call it. Ow! That's a dung. Yeah. So that's the Abbey, guys. So I think we've escaped from the, the bulls that they show on the sign, not to um, enter. But you know, we always go that little bit further to, to show you the graveyards, the churches, the chapels. And now a beautiful 13th century house. But I presume it wasn't really a house. It was probably like a little chapel where they would have met and had prayer and possibly even lived upstairs. Right, so guys, you can see the sky is getting dark. Just want to read this for you. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me. St. Patrick and St. Moctha, 535 A.D. So possibly, I know the Abbey is 13th century, but that could be much, much older then. I put the, the date up over uh, for you. So guys, that is the end of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again soon.